All right, we've talked about p-values and how they can be confusing or even misleading. So what should we look at instead? Try this, confidence intervals. So what's that? A confidence interval is just a range. It tells you how sure the researchers are about their result. Let's say a study says a new drug lowers blood pressure by five points. If the confidence interval says two to eight points, that means the real answer is probably somewhere between two and eight. That's helpful. It tells you how big the effect might be and how much wiggle room there is. A p-value just says yes or no, but a confidence interval says here's what we think is actually happening. A study in 2024 looked at a bunch of medical trials. They found that most studies didn't fully explain their confidence intervals, and many had changes between what they had planned to study and what they actually published. So not only were confidence intervals underused, researchers were also changing the story after the fact. So why does it matter? If you only look at p-values, you're missing the big picture. Confidence intervals show how solid the results are. If the range is super wide, that means we're not very sure. If it's tight, that's a good sign. So next time you read a study, ask what is the confidence interval? Is the range big or small? Does it actually mean anything in the real world? Because knowing the size and not just whether it's significant is what really matters. So what makes a study trustworthy? It's not just about big words or fancy charts. It's about the basics. Did they test enough people? Did they rely only on p-values? Did they leave out results they didn't like? Was the data fair and accurate and not biased? And did they show how sure they were using confidence intervals? Good research tells the whole story, not just the parts that sound good. So the next time you see a headline or a new study, ask a few simple questions. How many people were in the study? Did the results actually matter? Was anything left out? Because science isn't about perfection. It's about being honest with the data.